guys, it's Katie. Um, I am just getting ready to take off these gorgeous jams. Don't ask me why. I just get bored too quickly. Um, I love these jams, by the way. But anyhow, I thought I'd do a quick video since it's something I'm working on right now um, and show you one of my favorite ways to take them off. So this right here is a must if, if you ask me, in my opinion. The Jamberry Lacquer and Wrap Remover is incredible. I poured some just in this little glass so I could reach it easier because I'm getting kind of low on it. Um, and then I like to use one of these fancy dancy things, but you could also use um, like an orange stick or, you know, figure out something else, but I love this. So anyhow, I'm just going to stick that in there. Um, the first thing I do is I just kind of find a corner and break the seal. Okay. Then I just dip my cool little purple pusher thing here. Can you all see? Okay, let's move up here a little bit. In the side, and I just start working. Look at this, guys, it's like magic. Dip it in, and just go from side to side on your nail. Look at that, right? Easy peasy. Um, These are metallic, so they do come off a little bit easier, but I'll have a sparkle on too. So break the side gonna dip it in my lacquer and wrap remover and get it under there and just start working it. If you need a little bit more. It really doesn't take much though. Okay, off. Okay, this one here, this pretty one, ooh, is a sparkle. We all know once you get a sparkle on good, it stays on good, right? <laughs> so again, I'm just gonna break the seal. Sucker is on there. Break the seal a little bit. Put my little guy in there. This one's gonna take a little bit longer, probably. Um, still coming off awesome, awesome. I always joke with my team, like, if Jamberry ever gave us the option to take out stock or something in one of their products, this would be the one I'd choose. The lacquer and wrap remover because it's magical look at that easy right the sparkles a lot of times will leave a little bit of that silver stuff behind we'll just rub that off though okay so that's how i do it um just thought i'd show you guys that and then of course when i'm all done i'll take my cuticle oil put it on there and buff it in like i talked to you guys about last week so all right bye